percent of the town has been with the one year anniversary of the slave lake fires we just want people to have front of mind any time of the year but especially right now to think about your pet and be prepared in case of an emergency so whatever you'd be doing to prepare your family you need to think of with your pet and the biggest thing is to have what you call a grab and go kit something that you have ready in a cat or a dog carrier a good size that would allow you to care for your pet for at least three days. So if it's a cat, cat box and cat litter, and of course food dishes, some fresh water, uh, your ID information of your animals, some up-to-date vaccination records, and collars, um, leashes, pretty much anything that you think you would need to care for your pet in a short period of time. Also, think in advance of giving a neighbor a spare key so that if you, for whatever reason, can't get home, that you have somebody that can get into your home and care for your pet. So any kind of emergency preparedness that you can think of, whether it be an instant evacuation or you can't get home, is so essential to prevent a disaster in regards to your pet. The Edmonton Humane Society has 12 guinea pigs up for adoption right now. They make really good pets if you are still committed to them to make sure that they get out of their kennel and they get exercise and that you really socialize them a lot. This one here is Cheerio. He came to us with another guinea pig about a week ago. He's very affectionate and look at him. He's just so darn cute. Consider Cheerio. You really need to meet a mocha. She is a doll and quite a favorite here at the Edmonton Humane Society. She's a two-year-old Mastiff Labrador Retriever cross. She came to us about two months ago, very pregnant, and just a day after she was admitted, she had 11 puppies. And they've all since been adopted, and now we need her to find her forever home. She is extremely fun-loving, and she might be a bit too active, though, for people with smaller children. Probably be best in a home with a little bit of older children. And if you're active and you think you're the one, take her home. This is two-year-old Callie. She has been through a lot. She came to us as a stray two months ago, pregnant, had a litter of kittens here. They've all been adopted. She's available now, and she really likes to feel enclosed and safe. So she would be best in a home that is probably pretty quiet, someone that maybe could give her some one-on-one -on -one time. And Marcy here, another one who's recently had kittens. We have a lot of cats that, especially in the springtime, come to us with a litter of kittens or are about to give birth in the shelter. She too is very uh, sweet. She is one probably that would be best in any kind of household. She does well with other cats especially. And she's just a couple years old. And look at how curious she is.